about lifting and all that about like two years ago I just wanted to tone up really have abs it was like my goal so I would just go to the gym and do abs for like an hour <laughs> like the first half of my workout was pure abs and then the second half was just to do cardio and all I did was like the lift call so I wasn't like consistent at the gym at all I just went like a few times a week or like a few times out of the month or whatever I don't know why I thought carbs was like the enemy I mean obviously everyone does but I don't know what made me like I thought I did so much research no carb diet or like a low carb diet so I you know I approached a low to no carb diet so I started doing that meaning I literally had no carbs except for fruits and vegetables I was eating like nothing so after working out you know doing just cardio and all that then I just wanted to like go in the weight room a little bit because I have a friend Amanda who you know was doing a little bit of lifting here and there so I'm like okay you know I'll try it out so I just like went in the, uh, the weight section of the gym which really intimidated me because I was like really tiny so I just like grabbed a few weights and I was doing some curls and like whatever whatever I just saw I did like full body every day I was doing like legs on the same day as I was doing arms I did that two years ago and then last year I was still doing the same kind of approach but I was getting more serious I guess I was doing splits now so I was starting to do shoulders and buys or shoulders and tries and back and buys legs and all that so I was splitting my days up and with that I was not doing proper nutrition meaning I wasn't eating bad I just wasn't eating everyone around me was would tell me like you this is not normal like what are you doing you're not eating or I would eat like a little veggie patty for like dinner for breakfast I had like fruits for lunch I had like a little veggie patty I would honestly get like full off of the acid building building in my stomach like my stomach was eating itself and I would get full on that so it was really bad it was getting really really bad family and friends were getting super worried and in my head I'm like no like I'm doing this right like this is how I to get abs and whatever I was obviously not educated didn't know anything about lifting or gaining muscle or anything I did that for a few months maybe five months I don't know maybe a little bit longer than that but then I took a trip to California it was in June or July and I was expecting my period to come the week that I got there, but it never did. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I don't know what's going on. My body's just not used to this traveling or something. I don't know. And weeks went by, then months went by, and I mean, straight six months, I did not have a period. At that point, I'm like, okay, something seriously is wrong with me. Something's wrong with my body. I went to like, I went to like five different doctors. I mentioned how I was on a low carb diet they didn't really I don't know they didn't register that that had to do with what was going on I did my own research I was just like does low carb diet affect female reproductive system and yes your reproductive system is the first thing to shut down when you are not giving your body what it needs I realized that and then but still for some reason I was being dumb still continued to eat the way I did until I it was just one day I was like upstairs in my sister's room and I was on her computer and on her recommended videos it said um, Nikki Blackett's video was up there I forgot which video I think it was one with her and Christian I don't talk about how they met or something so I just clicked on that and I was watching it and then I was like oh they're cute so look through her videos and then I saw how she eats <laughs> and I was like what the heck like how does she have that body and she eats like oatmeal she eats like rice I was very shocked to know that you can eat carbs and have a lean body so right after watching that video I went straight to the grocery store with my mom and I think I bought rice and vegetables and oatmeal and chicken once I did that I just like started following macros and slowly teaching myself about that and then I don't know just slowly learning every day I'm still learning more and more but yeah so that's honestly how it all started and that's how I got to the point I am today I just like 
I don't know. She, Nikki just means a lot to me. She saved my life. Like I probably would have just continued doing what I did if I did not find her videos. I don't know. It was a crazy, crazy time in my life. My body was literally shutting down. That's why I preach to eat, to lift, and you'll grow. As soon as I started eating better and like giving my body what it needs, the proper amount of carbs and proteins and fats, I started to see, to see like crazy progress. I was leaning out, I was starting to see abs, and I was just like, wow, this is like magic. I honestly thought it was magic, like counting macros and just like eating what I love and still seeing great progress. <coughs> that was amazing. So that's my little story. That's how I got into all of this. That's why I want to help anyone else out there that's maybe struggling or wants to build muscle and you know tone up and all that would love to inspire others the way that nikki has totally changed my life just love to help anyone out there that's why i kind of started this channel i want to have this as not only like a diary to see progress i've made and all the memories i've made but to also get my word out there and help anyone going through what i went through that's that thank you guys for watching this video i hope you subscribe and like and comment and I will see you guys in the next video.